Okay, so we have our battery conversion complete here, <clears throat> running on 12 volts, uh, 8 AA batteries. The total current draw is between 50 and 60 milliamps, so a set of these batteries will last many hours, and uh, even more in intermittent use. Now taking a look underneath the changer here, <clears throat> the hookup from the switch and so forth, let's get some, a little bit better light here. To hook up the motor, the green wire will go to the brown wire from the switch, and the black wire from the switch goes to the red wire of the motor. That's the only thing that, that, that is contrary to normal wiring, and it's because it's the way they're wired at the factory. And I've never seen one wired differently. These wires are the standard wires to go back down to the amplifier. The reason I wire nut them, that I clip them at all, is it makes it a lot more convenient to work on these things if you, if you clip them and get them out of your way. Now, on the uh, output here, oops, here's where I stick that uh, resistor, the 470K resistor. Coming from the tone arm, I go in the, the uh, black and white wire, I tie them together as grounds, and they go to the ground wire, to the shielded wire back to the amplifier. That's simple. The red wire, I interrupt. I put a resistor in series and then back down to the amplifier feed wire. The capacitor across the whole thing here from the amp side, not the cartridge side, this is from the cartridge, this is to the amp. From the amp side to ground, I put a 001 cap here, and that makes the sound much more mellow. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you take this capacitor out of here. I'm going to quick clip it, if I can do this without running out of uh, uh, video. And as I play the same record without that cap in it, you're going to see a much brighter sound here. I hope. <laughs> Should be. All right, let's put it. It's all been done. That's the bare naked ladies. Let's try that. Now, this is without the capacitor. You can see there's a lot more treble now. I happen to like the mellow sound. It's up to you. And anyway, as far as uh, Wild Bill mentioned, he was anxious to see how you do the speed. Well, you can see how I did it. I just did it by uh, by by ear. When you know a record by heart, you can adjust the speed uh, till where it sounds best with this pot. You can use a strobe disc too, and once you get it set, it's all set. But anyway, that's uh, that's the whole uh, kit and caboodle now, and everything's all done. The you know, last thing you do is, uh, if you have a 45EY2, is notch the battery holder down in this area here so that it slides on the bake light rail that's part of the cabinet so that it fits between the amp and the side of the cabinet. That's about it. I don't have a cabinet to show you right now. I don't have any left. They get uh, crushed real easy in shipping. So anyway, that's the battery-operated uh, 45 RPM record player conversion kit.